cities play a pivotal role worldwide uh, in coping with climate change and also in, in terms of solving the climate problem. So cities are the largest emitters, so 70% of all global emissions are released by cities and therefore we have to develop um, strategies how we can save um, emissions in the future. In our study we tried to figure out the urban footprint, um, namely in the sense that we analyzed um, how much food in the near vicinity of urban systems can be, can be produced and how much people can be nourished uh, by this amount of food today and also in the future. So we applied an optimization calculus in order to optimize food, optimize food production. That was one point. And then we compared it um, with uh, additional factors, namely um, urban growth, uh, lifestyle changes expressed by diet style changes and climate change. And we find, tried to figure out um, what, uh, which of these factors would be the most relevant one. And when we, when we look on the near urban agriculture, um, the, the result is that urban growth, of course, has the biggest pressure. The second one, of course, is diet, dietary pattern style change. And the third one is climate change. But climate change has uh, very different, different facets. So in some regions worldwide, namely in Northern Africa, Western, Eastern Africa, Southeast, Southern Asia, um, uh, the opportunity to produce food near urban systems don't exist anymore when climate change is accelerating further. What we also try to find out is how much emissions near urban uh, agriculture can, can save in comparison to global, global transport. So we know that, yeah, that food uh, is uh, transported across the globe from New Zealand to Europe and vice versa. And we found out that we can save in, in, in case of a, of a localized production, near urban production, that we then can save 4 to 5% of all global emissions.